it goes way back to 1989. In 1989, families were the fastest growing subset of the homeless population. And I am a family nurse practitioner, and I was working in a clinic. And one of my mentors um, at the time was medical director for healthcare for the homeless. And he told me that there were women who were pregnant and not getting any care. And as a nurse practitioner, I, I knew that prenatal care was essential. And I knew it would help to have, uh, help women deliver healthy babies. And I also knew that it was a time where a woman could turn her life around. So first of all, I was in disbelief that there would be women who would be homeless and pregnant at the same time. So I went out and had a look. And the night that I went out there, there were three women at different stages of their pregnancy. Not one was getting care. I, at the time, was getting my master's in public health at Berkeley. So I said that I would go out and I'd volunteer one night a week and uh, link women up to care. And I did that. Um, but as I did that, uh, the problem got worse and worse. And, and you were educating yourself on the inadequacies of the response of the system. Exactly. I would talk to people about it. I would say something has to be done. It's getting worse. And everybody nods and everybody says yes. And It's awful, they would say. And then I thought, well, I can't be a volunteer the rest of my life. And so I took a grant writing class. I wrote a grant uh, that described the work that I was doing one night a week. And I submitted it to the San Francisco Foundation. And it landed on the desk of this woman who was a, a, the a grants manager. And she called me a week later, and she said, I want to meet you. And it was, a, it was about a year later. This was actually in 1988. And in 1989, in November, I got my first grant, which was for $52,000. And that funded three part-time people. I was one of them. I always like to say nobody gets rich doing this work. <laughs> but, um, and, and the rest is history.